friends. Welcome to 30 Inks 30 Days. Day 29. Oh my gosh. Um, yesterday's ink was Seize the Night. Which I've always thought of as brown, but it's a bit purplish. Look at that dried splat. You can see a lot of gold sheen. That sheen did come through a little bit in the writing. Not a ton. Um, but this Percao is a really juicy pen. So I liked it. A++. plus plus would use again. Um, but let's move on to today. Oh, I don't have my normal pen here. I'm gonna use a different pen. Um, for today, let's see, pick a random number. Because I did ask, and some of you said, please keep it going with the uh, randomness. So I did. We have this the third ink in this series, at least the second. Oh, that doesn't belong in there. Ah, ah. Here we go. Sailor Yurameku Seki. Let's see if we can find this real quick. Oh, pretty quick. And let's grab a pen. Okay, we're going with this Cosmos with the titanium nib and the rusted bit for it. I wonder if I could write to them about that. Probably. Maybe I'll just put nail polish on it. Rub dirt in it. Um, you can tell it's back to normal times because there's no construction site outside again. So if that bothers you, sorry. See, did we get any ink in here? No, no, no we didn't. How about now? Still no. Still looks, seems like no. We did get ink all over the section. It's fine. It's totally okay. Expected. That's exactly what we want. Okay, do your thing, capillary action. I gotta hurry, I have a meeting. No time like the right time. That's not what I, okay. Um, chromatography strip. I did already do all the chromatographies for these, but. We have fun. We'll do it again. It actually starts to split into its chromatography before you put it in the water. Okay. We have hashtag 30 inks, 30 days. November 2022, day 29, ink, sailor, Seki pen, is the still, warm, cosmos, T.I. broad. Nib. Okay. 
I have to be careful that I don't like spraying this nib because it's so flexible. <laughs> Um, here is today's chromatography for now. Pretty, pretty cool. We got like blurple at the bottom, kind of a light magenta, a hint of, could be a green there, but it might be blue looking green because there's yellow above it. And now, on with the pixie hats. No, just kidding. Now let's do our splat. I don't think I've been intentionally giving y'all earworms lately. And that theme may continue today. I guess, I don't, you know, I don't want to force it. If it comes naturally, you know. But if it doesn't, Look at it, I don't think I did this even at all. That splat is what it is, and we like it for itself. I like how this ink does not go down looking pink, but it tends to dry looking kind of pink, which is actually why I chose this pinkish pen. I think it's a pretty good match, to be honest. Um, so, I'm looking forward to this. Today, um, I don't know if I have much writing, but here we, ha here we are. We're going to go. Wait, where's our little... I realized that I totally, on um, day 15, misspelled um, the Yurameku ink on that day when I saw Amanda's video from yesterday or the you know, two days ago where she used the same ink. Anyway, whatever. I will fix it. Um, at any rate, thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you have had a wonderful day. What ink? What color are you hoping for on our final day of 30 inks, 30 days? I would love to hear what ink you feel like you would really love to see. Um, take care. Bye.